Yo, what is up guys? Today I'll be showing you how to use PKX on your Pokemon save files to change your name, Pokemon levels, items, and more. So let's get right into it. Now I've put a link down below to where to get this. Press download this file. What you want to do is drag the exe out of the zip file and run it. Now Windows will protect your PC from having fun. So press more info and run anyway. Now it might show that you need to install .NET desktop runtime, so we want to download it. It will automatically download, just run the exe, install it, press close, and then run pkhex again. Now it can perform automatic backups if you create a folder with the name in the same folder. Would you like to create a backup folder now? Always press yes. Backup folder created, great. You can actually see it pop up here because this is where I have the exe. I do recommend obviously putting the exe in a folder. What we want to do is go to file and open. Now you want to find your save file. And the easiest way to do that is actually starting up your emulator of choice, in my case, Ryubing. Right click the game, open user save directory. And in here, you want to click on this bar and copy. Now you can get out of this and paste that same thing you just copied into this bar and select the main file. Now press open. And as you can see, all my Pokemon are in here. You can see who's in my party and you can see stuff from the actual save file. Now, if you go to trainer info, this is where you can change your name, your gender, and even your language. These are the most common questions I get. So that's how you do it. You can also change your hours in game, your position on the map, then press save. Now under Pokedex, here you can actually go and press modify all, complete the decks and press save. If you want to cheat, I don't recommend doing it, but you can. Now for items, you can also just check give all, all and press save. Now under trainer info, by the way, you can change your money amount. Yeah, if you go to fashion and you want to unlock all of the fashion, you can check a bunch of these. Uh, I'm not going into all this. Now the event flags, I wouldn't mess with this and especially key backups. Now the box layout, I mean, you can change all the wallpapers and stuff, whatever. Now the block data, I don't really mess with either. Now you can also click verify all Pokemon, clean. Now these are giving me little uh, error triangles, but I will obviously test if this works in game. Now per Pokemon, you can drag them over here. You can change your Pokemon's nickname, change its Pokeball type, its stats, its moves, the cosmetics, and more basically. Now what I'm gonna do is press export sev, aka save, and I'm actually gonna replace my main save file because it wasn't my save file to start with. And now if we close PK hex and open the emulator again, by the way, this is how you get the Pokemon that you can't trade on the emulator. Always update, yes. Okay, and now the moment of truth, checking if it worked in game also changed so yeah this is how you change your name your pokemon your items even your game language and anything you want with pk hex if anything is unclear join my discord server for help make sure to subscribe leave a like comment down below peace out guys see ya